We do great things in schools. Yeah. We challenge students, we drag them through hard texts, difficult mathematical, chemical formulas. We do astonishing things. Schools have this capacity to do remarkable things with young people. And we do all of that, but my goodness, like we don't prepare them for sustainability. Not at a systemic level. We don't have anywhere categorically in any subject, but chemistry, geography, whatever, a requirement that when students leave our uh, building, when they graduate or the end of the day, that they understand the systemic stresses and the deep ecological debt that's out there. They can go into the world as voters, consumers, without having to confront that. And that shouldn't be, shouldn't be right. I've been scrambling to try and make a response to it. I went home once and um, I'd, it'd just been a, an ecological talk. I'd, I'd talked for half an hour about different philosophers. And uh, yeah, after those questions, and everybody went home, and then I thought, well, is that worth it? People maybe just went home with their own thoughts, just a bit amended. And there was my wife, uh, Samantha, uh, knitting something. I thought, wow, what she's doing, that's, that's gonna be there forever. That little scarf for my son. Like all that energy, all that effort, all that attention and care and thought stitched into that little scarf. And what I just spent a few days organizing and putting on and kind of, in some ways, it sort of vanished. And I had no idea where any of it stuck, what moved, what changed, what, it's all, okay, it could be a bit transcendent in the moment you get a feeling, but, and just to go home and see my wife simply knitting a scarf. So I need to knit something. So I started writing a book.